So, Burnley won, Blackburn won. Absolutely fantastic day. Brilliant, I thought. Really good from the boys. Uh, the atmosphere at the start of the game from the fans was absolutely brilliant. Really good to see. I hope every game at home is like that. It was electric from the start. And yeah, we played really, really well, I thought. First 10 minutes, we was off the blocks, exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, we were pressing really high up. Uh, Coley also really good with the pressing, as he always does. And um, Hannah Ball um, as well, he was just up, up top with uh, Foster. I thought his pressing game was excellent. And... Um, yeah, um, we were quite dominant in that first 15, 20 minutes, I'd say. Um, we were starting to just settle down on the ball a bit, starting some uh, nice link-up plays, some good passing. And that first goal that we scored, wow, that that was that was some goal, that. Coming from Lucas Perez, obviously they like, played it up to uh, Brownhill, uh, chested it down, and then just a lovely back heel. Uh, down the line for new boy Jaden Anthony. He ran with the ball really well. Excellent cross, brilliant. And then Foster with a fantastic header down in the back of net. I thought, wow, what a great start. I was hoping that Burnley would get a second with that momentum going. Um, you know, they were pushing and probing a little bit, but just couldn't quite get it over the line, which was just a bit gutting. But then. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. so the second half started. I thought it was quite even, I'd say, uh, second half. Um, no one really dominating it as such. And then, obviously, one of their guys um, got a man sent off. Uh, yellow, Another yellow card. Um, so I thought, yes, Blackburn down to 10 men. I thought we would have... Just gone for it a little bit more. Maybe put three at back um, and then put another attacker on. Just really gone for it. But I think uh, Scott Parker just wanted to make sure we were solid at back and didn't concede another goal. Um, but yeah, um, really happy with that result, 1-1. Uh, Bearing in mind that we didn't know what the squad were going to be before the game. Um, obviously, we got some um, good... Uh, signings in that's come in. I thought uh, Josh Laurent uh, had a really good game. Defensive midfielder, put some great tackles in. Some um, great flying balls over to the wingers. I, th I thought he had a great debut. Really good, looks like a good leader. Uh, got that tall presence about him. Yeah, I really, really like him. I think he can come good. Uh, Anthony Jaden, he looked... Um, uh, sorry, Jaden Anthony... He looked really good on the wing, um, but very quite skillful and obviously got an assist on his um, debut. So he must be absolutely buzzing about that. Um, had a ball, you know, first home league debut. I thought he was really good. Um, I thought that there was one point where he could potentially get sent off himself. He was arguing with uh, Liner about over decision, but Scott Parker made the right decision to take him off. But... Yeah, great home debut from him. Joe Worrell started a little bit shaky, I'd, I'd say, at the start. But once he got into the groove of it, of the derby, I thought he played really well. Um, who else uh, played? Uh, I thought that like, the subs, um, uh, sorry, mentor, new signing. He looked very skillful, very useful player. Good movement off the ball. Um, but yeah, uh, I can't be disheartened with that result, 1-1. Um, still undefeated in 14 years, so can't grumble at that. Absolutely buzzing about that. Um, but yeah, happy with the result. Um, be interesting to see now. Now the team is fully confirmed now till uh, January that to see what we can do. Uh, see what link up play we can do. Once the players start gelling, have a few more games on the belt. I feel a bit more confident now who who we got, um, especially as well with the striker we got last minute um, from Millwall, uh, Fleming. So yeah, um, I'm feeling quite positive now for the rest of the season. Come on, Burnley up the Clarets. Let's have it. <laughs>